Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we are going to be learning how to use some new tools that I've personally never used, and also jumping into Redstone Arsenal and equipping ourselves with some fresh new gear. So I hope you guys are ready. So last episode, we ended up getting all of our thermal and stuff ready to go. So today we're going to finish up most of the thermal expansion stuff. Um, and we're also going to try and get ourselves the full set of flux infused armor. Hopefully get that enchanted as well, at least with the enchants that we want, along with the weaponry from this mod. And then also we're going to try and get all of these uh, resonant tools that are from, uh, what is it, Thermal Innovations, which is actually a fairly interesting, mod, a fairly new mod to me. Um, and I have not actually used it. But in order to get started with that, I need to take some of this pulverized obsidian just to kind of finish up some of our thermal stuff. And whenever you put pulverized obsidian in here, you get basalts. Look at that, basalts powder. And we're going to need this. And we can go ahead and EMC it, actually. But we're going to use this to hopefully... Let's take, uh, take that out. There we go. We're going to use this to make some of the, uh, the items that you can make here. You need pulverized obsidian and some redstone. Let me actually grab some more pulverized obsidian real quick. Because I think I have some more in here. Yeah, pulverized obsidian, and then we'll get some redstone, and we'll actually make our powder we need. So, just like so, with the basalt powder on top, you get the uh, petrothium. Now, petrothium is something that we're going to be using later on, but I do want to save it. And go ahead and grab a few, so we can keep it stored inside of our table. Now, here's the in cake that we made um, a few episodes ago, and I never looked at the quest for it, and I never, I didn't realize that this cake is worth $500. Um, yeah, kind of ridiculous. And this one's worth $200 bills, but in order to complete this one, we have to at least make chocolate cake. And uh, so let's go ahead and make some chocolate cake. We should have everything we need to do that. Uh, dough is the only thing we don't have, I think. Yeah, we need some dough. And I think we have just about everything except for the milk, which I do have here. And that's just three milk buckets, and we have chocolate cake. Very, very simple. And this is actually some really nice food. And it does stack, by the way. This is probably, like, some of the best food you can get. There we go, we'll complete that. And as you can see, it does stack like normal food. Very unhealthy, but it still works. So let's go ahead and claim that, and then we can claim the end cake, and then claim our rewards. And look at that. We now officially have more than a thousand dollars, which is awesome. And then we open the chest, and what do we get? We just got some infinity capacity. Uh, which is fine, because we've actually already made those. <laughs> so, it really doesn't matter too much that we have that. Alright, so. Back to the cake. I am just going to keep a stack of that on me, so whenever I need to eat, this thing does like 13 saturation. Really good saturation there. And really good on the hunger filling. Awesome. So, back to what we were working on. Uh, so, I want to start working on our flux infused. Not flux infused. Um... Is it called? Yeah, it's from uh, Redstone Arsenal, though. So this Redstone Arsenal mod, this is going to require a few things because a lot of the none of this is like EMCable. So we really need to kind of set up automation for this, which is exactly what you guys have been asking for. So we're going to work on doing that. All right. So getting our pulverized different uh, types of metal and allowing it to be piped in, we can actually automate this step. Um, we can also use Electrum Blend if we wanted to, um, and we can use Auto Crafters in order to do that. So what would it take to get this going? We have the ability to pipe out this stuff. So let's get cond uh, conduits. Take some item conduits, filters. I don't think we have filters yet. So we should be able to make filters. So good old fashioned basic filters. I'm going to grab a few of those. 
so we have them stored in here. And with all this, we should be able to get a crafter going. So let's take a look at the crafter. RF Tools is one of my favorite crafters. It's easy to set up, easy to set up like large scale automation. Um, it just works really well. And you know, if it works, why not use it? So let's go ahead and make a machine frame, good old fashioned crafting tables, and just a tier one. We don't really need more than a tier one. Tier one should do just fine for us. All right, so now that we have our item conduits ready to go and we have our crafter, we need a point. I'll just take one point because that's going to have to, the crafters gonna have to be powered. Uh, we could probably use a conduit now that I look at it. We'd probably go ahead and use an energy conduit for this and uh, try and get this thing going. So if we remember, let's take a look at the redstone arsenal. And we're, we're trying to make this blend, right? Because the blend is going to lead to us making the, the ingots. And then, of course, the redstone crystals. These are pretty easy to make because you can literally just fluid transpose them, which is exactly what we're going to do. So that doesn't need to be automated in any way. But electrum blend is probably what we're going to use to set this up. So we already have a bunch of electrum. So let's go ahead and pull some out. And let's go ahead and set up our pulverizer for this. So our pulverizer's over here. It's been doing some work. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crack down the floor here. Because right here, we should be able to put our crafter. And look at that. It already gets power, so we should be good to go there. Awesome. Uh, now, this is full of redstone. And that's what we're going to be pulling buckets out of. And those buckets are going to go into here. And when they're done crafting, we should be able to pull those buckets back out. Hopefully, I have not used the crafter in that specific way. But I think that it will work like that. All right, and then we're also going to need to send the items over here. Okay, so let's get item conduits. And we're going to route the item conduits to this. And then this is also going to get an item conduit. And then, of course, we're going to need to get down in here and break this. Awesome. So, to get this set up, let's remember, this is our crafter. We currently don't have a recipe in here because we do need to get this pulverized. So let's get some of this pulverized. All we need is two to get that set up. We're also going to need a bucket. And this is where our filters are going to come in handy. Because as of right now, we have an empty filter. So let's fill this bucket. Uh, where did our bucket go? This is not automatically set to pull. But it automatically went. Oh, that's because... Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, we can probably pull this out and make this even more compact. Because we can set this to both blue and orange and have this go back and forth and auto input and auto output. Problem is this doesn't actually output, I don't think. So that's going to be one of the other issues we have. This will actually, I don't think it'll pull. It might. It might. If we set up the recipe, let's go ahead and do that. Two Electrum, one Destabilized. That will get us this. And then we have right here, uh, the results of the crafting operation will go into the output buffer. And then all items and empty slots are consumed. Um, keep one item in the, of every in inventory slot. So we have to do all. And we should be able to send that. And once we give it the blend, it throws the bucket out. The bucket gets refilled and gets thrown back in here. So the fluid transposer did its job. It automatically pulled it out and then leaves us with this flux infused blend in which I want to throw over here in the induction smelter so we can also set up another cable right there. So we should be able to get this going pretty easy. So all we need now is to say pull out the the blend and put the blend over here. So let's get that. We are going to insert and make sure we set an insert for the blend. There we go. Insert, set the filter, make sure blend is the only thing that goes in, right? And then on the extract, we can actually extract as well. And we can do extract always active. Put this on a different channel, which is brown. And that's gonna pull 
everything but the bucket. I want everything but the bucket being pulled out. So this flux, I'm gonna actually have to filter it. Otherwise, it might pull the bucket, and I don't want I don't want it to do that. So we'll make sure that goes in there, and that's gonna lead us over here. So remember, we just set the brown channel. So we're gonna select the brown channel over here on insert, and that's gonna only insert stuff that's going on the brown channel. We only have one item going to the brown channel as of right now, and then we're also gonna set up a chest over here somewhere that we can put uh, sand in, and that'll hopefully get that automated. Now, I also wanna have another channel over here that'll be on insert, but this'll be a blue channel because we're gonna have an extract on another channel as well because we're gonna have to have somewhere to take electrum. So pretty, pretty easy to set this up. Uh, we need to set, the blue channel is automatically gonna be set, so we don't have to really worry about that. We do need to extract on the green channel, make sure that's set to auto, always active, and that's gonna pull out the electrum blend. Uh, we're gonna make sure, this should only pull out one thing, so it should only pull out the red. So if we clear this, we'll do the red on the export, and we also need, it to be mixed between the blue and that orange. Okay, so for the most part, this should be just about ready to go. Uh, we need to carry the line over here and hopefully get a chest going. The chest will be setting there. Make sure these are disconnected, even though it really doesn't matter if this is turned on, it really won't work. And we should be able to get a chest. Right, so a chest. This is just gonna feed a couple different items, such as sand. So sand is going to need to be filtered on that uh, the other channel, right? Right here, we're inserting to brown. So brown is also going to be the channel that we extract to and always active. So only brown should go in here so we can put a mixture of Electrum Blend. And Electrum Blend should not, or Electrum should not go in here. We should probably filter what should specifically go where, right? Um, blue channel, this is inserting on the blue channel. Actually, we should probably do it on the brown channel, right? Brown is also coming out of here. It's probably kind of confusing, but yeah, this is probably brown. Insert on the brown channel. There we go. Hopefully that'll get some electrum blend going. If I can get down the hole. Electrum, always active, brown channel. It pulled it out somewhere. Oh, it's working. Okay, so here, here it goes. So it's doing its thing, right? And we need sand as well. And when you have sand, you want to make sure to lock this so that way sand stays in this spot. And when you put that in there, hopefully sand will flow out and also go into here, which should be on an insert on the brown channel. Perfect. All right, and then the extract will be on the blue. And we can set that to a different location or we can just pull it out of here However, I feel like doing it really doesn't matter too much. Um, but this also needs to be configured properly. Let's close out all those. Make sure this is set to both. There we go. Like that. And as you can see, we can start getting the Flux Electrum Blend in here. And the automation is pretty much set up. Um, this, we just need to provide redstone blocks. And it's good. It's good to go. The redstone blocks will last a long time in the Magma Crucible. Uh, let's go ahead and get a Magma Crucible. Not 64 of them. <laughs> and we'll I'll go ahead and get a kit as well. And I thought I had an automatic uh, resonant upgrade, but I guess I don't. I do have a automatic tier two. There we go. That automatically upgrades that. Nelium. There's all those features. And augments. Awesome. Throw some redstone in there. Give it some power. 
This guy is ready to rock and roll. Uh, we need to make sure that this automatically outputs down there. And that should automatically keep that filled. And we shouldn't have any problem getting the uh, stuff we need, <laughs> as you can see there. Um, so, with that being set up, that's all ready to go. We are good. Uh, we can get some facades. So... Now, the facades, I don't know how well they're going to work with the glass. Um, they may or may not work. Transparent conduit facades. That will make them invisible. I don't really want that. Uh, we can go ahead and EMC this. And we'll grab some conduit facades, throw them in our painter with some dark glass. We'll see how this looks. So throw the facades in. Painter. This is really what the painter is for. And we should start seeing conduit facades built up in here. Alright, will this make the conduits invisible? No. So we're probably going to need the clear conduit facades um, to get this to work. But it does look like it is textured with itself, so if we did a bunch of these conduit facades, it would actually be textured properly. Which is kind of interesting. So like here, these are all going to be connected textures. But here, not so much. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird looking as well. I don't exactly like that. So we'll, we'll have to probably go with the clear conduit facades and then possibly replace this with conduit facades? I don't know. I don't exactly know how that's supposed to work. But anyways, we do have now the Flux Electrum ingots, and that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I think this is pretty much done for as well over here. Um, I don't really need the experience built up in here for none of this powder. Right? So I should be able to throw a bunch of this stuff in. There we go. Flux and Fuse, which is not EMCable, and more of the blend. So the blend in here as well. So that's keeping its thing. Let's also get some more sand. That's a big part of keeping keeping sand in there. Um, so we're gonna need the same setup over here. Let's get a magma crucible again. This time I want to grab some kits. I'm pretty sure I should be able to make conversion kits. And those will be very useful later on. Should totally be able to make conversion kits. Right? So we definitely need this kind of conversion kit. What am I missing? I'm missing a con regular conversion kit. This one. So, there we go. Resonant Conversion Kit. That's exactly what we need. That'll save us a lot of time. And of course we need the Augments. And I need to save this. So this, this kit allows us just to instantly upgrade that. There we go. We got our four in there. Let's get some redstone going. Make sure this is configured properly. Make sure we're dumping. Auto Output. Uh, we need to break this so that way we can clear that experience. Because that experience is not that important. We have pretty much a limited amount of experience at this point. And that should just about be ready to go. Throw the redstone in. Hook up the cable. And now it has power. Perfect. So that should process pretty fast. I should get the job done at least. And we should be able to throw diamonds in here. So, diamonds should go inside this slot. And that will get us started with our first flux crystal. Or, or yeah, flux crystal. And then this is, of course, going to get our electrum ingots. Which we're going to need very soon. Because 
there's a few things we're going to need to do. So, with the Redstone Arsenal mod, each one of these, uh, these flux-infused helmets or any of the armor pieces, they're going to require these flux armor plating. Each one of those is going to require an actual plate. But we do have a compactor. Um, I was sure to actually make a compactor right here. So placing these inside the compactor is going to be very useful. So we can now thank the compactor for this. Um, so when it required your normal set of armor, I think requires 27 pieces uh, or 27 ingots. We're going to need four times that amount because each piece requires this plating and requires four of these. So that just kind of lets you know how much of this we're actually going to need. And just kind of brings to mind, we probably need more Electrum. Because everything else we're probably doing good on, right? So Electrum. Just throw more of that in here. And that should get us what we need. Yeah, there it goes. It's processing up, throwing it in here, we're getting our buckets. The only thing we're waiting on is redstone. And we're good to go. So with that being processed, let's start working on some of the other tools that we actually have uh, or that we actually need to make in our quest book and that are recommended. And I would actually love to learn and see what these items can do. Um, so I figured this right here is just like your normal pickaxe. This is like your normal saw. And of course, we, we don't have a magnet yet, but it'd be nice to have one. And uh, this is a hypo infuser. So this right here apparently can store and inject potions. So that'd be something kind of interesting to, to use. I, I don't normally mess with that, but that'll have something to do with the potion generator thing. Or not potion generator, but the uh, potion making that you can do inside this mod. And then you also have the alchemical quiver, which says you can imbue arrows with potions. But we do need to have, I'm guessing, the hypo infuser on us in order to do that. Um, so that's a thing. As you can see, it says press V to enable arrow imbuing. So technically we can like give glowing or whatever to our arrows and that's something we can do. The main thing I'm interested in is this boar, um, also the saw and the magnet. That's the main part. The quivers and stuff I'm not so concerned about. So let's start working on this. To get this, we're gonna need a few things, a tool casing just to get started. I think each one of these actually requires this. Yeah, it does. So we're gonna need two of those and we're gonna kind of make both of them at the same time. The drill head, is something that we're going to need. We're also going to need a saw blade. Kind of a weird looking thing, but you know, gets the job done. And there's our first flux bore and also our first saw. And then the magnet is pretty simple in itself. We could probably do most of these all together. All right, so this is the first tier. And we've already made it. Let's make the flux one, which we're going to need copper nuggets. That takes us to this, and we need our magnet. Place that in there. It is going to have a little bit of a weird thing going on because of that. Each one of these are going to need to be manually placed to upgrade. So we just moved it to hardened. Same for this. I think they're all going to be pretty similar, except for the magnets are going to be a little bit different. It's going to require like Invar nuggets, which I'll have to pull out. But most of the stuff we should have. Look at that. Pretty easy to upgrade this. Doesn't take too long at all. It's going to require some diamonds. Both of these are going to be exactly the same. So might as well do them all at once. And then the Signalium, that's why I went ahead and made that Petrothium. Because we're actually going to need that. And we're going to need some gears as well. But yeah, we're def we definitely needed that Petrothium. So that's why I went ahead and made that. There's that upgraded. Our saw may be a little bit different. The saw requires erothium dust, which requires blizz powder or blitz powder. Um, this can be acquired by niter, which I don't know if we have. Ooh, that might be something we have to work towards. Oh, gives us another thing to do. Um, yeah, how do we get this saltpeter? Well, that's one option. Um, you can get it from chickens, apparently. Pulverizing sand. Pulverizing smooth sand. Okay. That's not too hard. So we can work towards getting that. Right? We just need to throw this in a pulverizer. 
I know right now our pulverizer is kind of occupied at the moment. What I can do is clear this. And hopefully we get some. There we go. Throw that. Learn it. We might actually have to put our experience back to use, which will be fine with me. Um, I can probably go ahead and clear these two guys out, because that's probably enough. <laughs> these are definitely produced a lot. And we'll just reset this. So we won't need... We'll need a fluid transposer. I'll grab my experience obelisk again. Place that bad boy right on top. Set this to export mode. Push. That should start filling up. And all we need now is to throw this in here. And that's going to give us some of that blitz powder. Perfect. I actually think bl the blitz stuff is like it. Like that's it for the thermal um, powders. Like erothium, I think that's that's some high end stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We're getting pretty close. We have three of them. But anyways, uh, back to the saw. It's kind of weird that the saw requires something actually a little bit different to upgrade. But that's fine. And then, last but not least, we need this, which is going to require a gear, which we don't actually have in here yet. And throw that in there. That's going to upgrade it. That's going to upgrade that. I'm surprised that one's the same recipe. We'll also do the same for this, which is going to require Electrum Nuggets. Right. Upgrade that. And last but not least, we need some Signalium Nuggets. And we have Max Resonant Gear. Uh, which is pretty nice. Now, I still need to make the imbuer. Like, each one of these kind of tears up as well. I'm going to worry about that here in a second. Um, but that's definitely something that needed to be done over here. Perfect. And these two, not so important. Let's claim our rewards. What was that? Three $50 bills? Nice. I will take that. So, with all that being said... I want to try this out. I want to try this. How good is this at breaking stuff? Um, so we can try it here. Guess. Let's get some blocks. So I've been so used to breaking this gray stuff. Let's see what this... Oh! It's got like a s adjustable size. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. And I'm guessing if we hit V, which we can change the size. So we can do it a 3x3, three three, a 5x5, five five, or a single block. I think the single block is probably the best. Is that pretty fast? I mean, it's, it's about normal. I like the animation that changes. When you're drilling, the animation kind of like sparkles, and then it goes away. That's kind of cool. And then... Uh, for this one, this also does a 3x3x3, three by three by three, or a 5x5, five five, or a single block. This can do attraction enabled or disabled. So if you set that on, that will stay on. That seems fine to me. Good, we can get rid of our axe, and we can also get rid of that. And this will probably also break dirt. Since there is no shovel in this mod, I assume that dirt is something you can also break pretty easy. Yeah, it works just fine. There's even little redstone particles that kind of pop up. Now, I did notice there was something that showed dyes that you can add to this to potentially change its color or something. Yes, you can change the color of its body by using dyes. Now, that's kind of cool. So if you want yours to be orange, you can do that. You want it to be cyan, you can do that. Oh, what about red? So, resonance, let's grab that again. Do red. Red actually looks kind of good. We can do the same for this. All the tools can be dyed. Look at that. I even think this can be dyed. It can. <laughs> so now we have all red tools. Even though they are uh, resonant, they can be dyed, which is kind of cool. 
That is super cool. All right, let's check in on this. Let's see how our plates are doing. Looks like they're doing pretty good. And hopefully we have enough to make the armor. That's what I was hoping to get today, was all the armor. So let's go ahead and clear out most of our stuff. Get into redstone arsenal. So in order to get this to work, we should need, what, 27 of these, I think? Is the magic number? And we should, we almost have enough. Wow. We are so close to having the exact amount we need. And this should be the final amount. Right here. We have 24. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Awesome. That should allow us to hopefully make each armor piece. So there's our helmet. There's our chest piece. Our pants. And our boots. Nice. So this is... Oh, I guess we only needed 24. 24 pieces. I was wrong. Um, but now we have all of our armor. And the good part about this armor is it can be enchanted with a lot of really nice stuff and we can actually make enchants now that we have like unlimited experience we can put protection five on here we can put fire protection we, i mean i don't know if well we can't put all the protections on here but we can't put i guess protection that's the main one i want um we can put respiration on our helmet aqua affinity however we want to do this we can put all of that on there so how 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 much does it cost for protection three so we need f 64 dark steel and the max amount of lapis, I guess. So just a bunch of dark steel to get all of our protection for, uh, for and some lapis. And then we're going to need quills. Or the quills. Book and quills. Good, and we should be able to come over here and get this guy going, right? Throw this here, throw that there, get the book. That'll give us protection four, max protection enchant. We'll come and I'm gonna grab some experience levels. Oh, yeah, uh, let's retrieve a few experience. Just a few, no big deal. And we can grab that. Yeah, it's pretty much an entire thing of dark steel. We're going to have, like, all of this enchanted with protection. Oh, boy, we're just missing a few, like, a few levels. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> the levels are kind of ridiculous because they've been just stored up for so long now. Um, hopefully our anvil lasts. Let's go ahead and throw this on there. This is the cheapest part, but technically the most powerful part and look at this like crazy max protection protection for on everything oh man this armor is really good now all we need is to actually take this chest piece and make a jetpack out of it like the jetpack we already have so there, there is another jetpack. The simple jetpack allows you to take a flux infused jetpack. Yes, but the only issue is we went the um, Ender IO route. This is going to take us through a different route. And then I also don't think this can be enchanted. Can it? Can this be enchanted? I don't think so. So this actually doesn't accept enchants, which is kind of weird. Whereas everything else does accept enchants, this doesn't. It's kind of unfortunate that that's the case. But honestly, this is really awesome. And very soon we won't even need a jetpack, so having this full armor is pretty awesome. Like, I can, I can pretty much at this point get us creative flight. No problem. So, with that being said, we have all this cool stuff. Let's sort kind of get this stuff sorted out. Um, one of the one of the best bows, by the way, that I want to get is from Redstone Arsenal. Um, this bow is kind of crazy, and it's called the Flux Bow. And I think we have enough stuff to be able to actually make it right now. Right? We need oh, we need pulverized obsidian. That's about it. 
So, pulverize obsidian. I think that's about it that it needs. It's for the rod. Then we can go ahead and make the uh, flux and fuse obsidian rod. And last but not least, we need another ingot, which I think we have. Maybe not. Maybe we need more redstone. We need more redstone. Which is okay. Throw that in there. That'll give us redstone faster than we can flip a switch. There's a bucket. That's already processed. There we go. There's our ingots. That quick. It's so nice to be able to do that. Um, so yes, I do want to get the armor from this, but there is something that this bow can do. For one thing, you can hit V to empower it. Usually it makes thunder noises. I'm surprised I don't hear them. Um, but it does make, like, thunder noises. But we can put multi-shot on this, and that's what I want. I'm pretty sure I have a book of multi-shot. Yes. And if we put multi-shot on this, this bow is an absolute beast with multi-shot. Like, max multi-shot, this thing can do so much damage. I don't think there's any way to ju uh, judge damage. Um, do we have, like, any kind of dummy or... No, we don't. But, man, this thing is absolutely crazy. When it is, like, empowered in its red mode, and also we need to put infinity on this thing, Infinity also helps. Um, but let's get an arrow. Like, this should consume just one arrow, but it shoots a bunch of arrows. Like, look at how many arrows was in that. One, two, three, four, five. Five arrows in one of those shots. Yeah. The damage that this does is pretty crazy. Like, sorry, cow. But you're gone. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, this will one-shot most mobs. Um, the Inner Dragon, it can pretty much take the Inner Dragon out in, like, no time at all. Of course, my aim doesn't really help any. You can just barely tap this thing. And it kills them. Just barely tapped it. So, yeah. If you put power and punch on this thing, this thing, this bow can probably become one of the most powerful bows um, that you can get, at least at this stage. Definitely surpassing this this bow. That bow is still a really nice bow, don't get me wrong. I do like it. It is a one-shot most mobs and un unbreakable. Um, but yeah, definitely an upgrade <laughs> from our normal stuff. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode as we upgraded into Redstone Arsenal uh, mode. So I also don't know. Can we claim this now that it's fully charged and been accepted because I really do want to claim this. Uh, doesn't consume the item. Good. Yes, we can claim it. Awesome. So now we've moved on to the next tier of armor, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, Thanks for watching.